All right. Hey, guys. Hey. Yeah. So what we learned starting a woodworking channel in 2018, it is currently December 23rd of 2018. So we're just wrapping up our first year. Uh, we literally started our channel, what, like January 1st last year? Yeah, roughly. Yeah, so roughly. we've been doing this right about a year. Right now, mm -hmm. our our channel is at like almost seven thousand. Our channel is at six thousand seven hundred and thirty-eight of the best subscribers on the internet. That's you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, we just want to go over a couple things that we've learned, but really, bottom line is that this this has blown us away just at how much support and love that there is in this yeah. maker community. Um, we couldn't have asked for anything better. So stay till the end, we got a special surprise for you. But so the first thing that we learned, uh, start with the channel. It takes way more time than we thought. Yeah. Uh, I had edited videos before. I was a little bit out of practice. Uh, if you go back and watch some of our first videos, you can definitely see that, but. It's a learning process. <laughs> uh, yeah, we originally came out the gate. We're like, hey, we're gonna do three videos a week. It's not that hard. And yeah. we kept up with that for a because we thought months. we thought that was like the way that that was the magical way. This is the only you know thing we could do to make it on YouTube right now. Yeah, we thought that the more and content we produced, the more we would skyrocket. This again, like we learned yeah. very quickly, was this was after YouTube changed its algorithm. Yes. So yeah, again, I, that's just part of the game. But we, mm -hmm. I st was still on the assumption of the old channel rules back when I did it in high school. It was just mass amounts of content. Yep. Um, which we learned wasn't actually the the magical key. Yeah, and so we pivoted and we. We found that where the community really needed some content was in the business strategy mm -hmm. side of the house. And so we started getting better at selling things locally. For personal growth reasons, we both wanted to start reaching out and actually doing sales and initiating those tough conversations, which I don't know, after a lot of practice, it kind of got easy. I mean, it's still tough, but like- It's like, it's, it's something where you have to learn to be the expert on it really quickly so that when you talk to people, you sound like the expert and they trust you as the expert. But if you can't communicate it well to somebody else, they're not gonna think you're the expert on it. And it's really hard to Also we learned that people don't that give in. a crap about like woodworking skills. No. They don't. Like you start trying to tell somebody how you're gonna build something, you're gonna lose the sale. Yeah. That was probably the biggest thing that we learned was like, you cannot start teaching these people about woodworking because if they were interested in learning woodworking, they'd already be doing it. Yeah, you wouldn't they'd do be it selling. on their own. <laughs> so it was really cool for us to learn that and start running into that. And the more that we just kind of like made it mysterious this is something we get into in the program, which I'll attack at the end of the video. But it's something that once we started actually like addressing, like keeping it mysterious and not letting them know how we built it, our sales went up. People started to want to pay more for our projects. So yeah, wrap it up in a little bit of mystery. We're making the side of this out of oak. Nobody and let cares. me tell you about the router bit I'm using. They're like, what's a router bit? Can Nobody we just cares. get back to the fact about how you're gonna build my dresser? Leave, <laughs> you know? it, leave it mysterious, <laughs> leave it mysterious and yeah. So we, we settled into that niche of the business strategy side of the house and it seems mm -hmm. to be working a couple weeks ago, you know, YouTube like started showing our videos to thousands of people and we started growing really, really fast, which was kind of uncomfortable. We weren't really expecting we were to like, grow that fast. Oh, what happens if this keeps going at this rate? So you, got, you <laughs> so, guys turned into from 600 to 6,000 really quick. Yeah, you guys were awesome. We were like, well, so, these people are great. What do we do with all of them? We're happy to have you here, but just yeah, understand that like, sure. hey, we're just gonna keep chugging along as if we only had a couple hundred subscribers, yeah. including my mom. Hi, mom. Hi, mom. Um, <laughs> But uh, yeah, so that's that's what we learned about the channel and we're just gonna continue putting out that kind of content uh, because I think that we have a unique perspective on it. And as far mm -hmm. as I know, we're the only people actually putting out YouTube content. I know there's a made for profit podcast, but um, as far as like actually working on how to sell your stuff, I don't know of any other channels. Yeah, and we kind of just hit um, a block. And if you go through a lot of our videos on YouTube, you'll see one, it's called, We Failed. We literally called it, We Failed. And that was the video we made um, after we discovered that three videos a week was not the way to do it. Uh, we were just killing ourselves. It took way too much time and we weren't getting the results back from it that we wanted. And so we were like, we'll be honest. And then we sat down and we're like, what do people need? We're like, what do we need? Like, what did we want? What do we still want? We're like, let's just do that. And it's worked great. Yeah. So we, we decided to pivot and focus on our business mm -hmm. and then kind of put YouTube on the back burner. Cause it used to be the other way. We used yeah. to put the YouTube yeah. on the front burner and then in the back burner was kind of the projects we were making. Well then when the quality started to go down and yeah. the YouTube really wasn't catching on fire, we just reevaluated and said, okay, fine. We're just going to focus on what's making us money, mm -hmm. which was the business. And then 
YouTube started to follow. So that's just kind of the, that's the formula we got. We're going to stick with it until it doesn't work anymore. But yeah, but the community is the best around just that's crazy. And, but also another thing too, it's like, you don't hear from the best people in the community. Yeah. You hear from some of them, but most of you guys that are actually really good at woodworking and like making your businesses and doing all that kind of thing, you're busy. You're not going to jump down in the comments. So that took yeah, us a while. You're hustling. <laughs> There's a lot of hate and stuff out there, which we try yeah. to ignore, but we realized that most of the good people, quote unquote, good people on, in our subscriber base, we don't hear from. Uh, all that often. So that's good. Those of you that are, keep encouraging us. Uh, your positivity really fuels our content. Yes. So if Absolutely. you're one of those people that is just kind of on the fence, like you don't usually comment, you do usually like videos, <laughs> selfishly, we'd like to ask that you uh, just let us know that you saw the video and enjoyed it because it really does feel us. The more positivity we see, the more excited we get and the more energy we have and the more content we can produce. And it's just, it's good for everybody. When it comes full circle and it's, you know, the more positivity and honesty we see, we're like, wow, people like the fact that we're being honest. So they're willing to be honest with us and we can just turn that back around and give you more positivity and honesty and be more genuine in the videos. That's a perfect segue into what we've learned about ourselves. We've mm -hmm. learned that well, now we're way better presenters. Yeah. We know how to logically like introduce an idea and cover it in detail and, and things like that. And it's really funny because like at, at both of our jobs, they try to teach us how to give presentations and to teach all the time. And we just know that the information they're teaching is flat <laughs> wrong because that's not how human beings work. You know? you know, based on what the audience learns best, how can we then turn that into what we're supposed to do, not the other way around? And what's crazy <laughs> is we, it's really funny, our bosses like kind of pride themselves on how many people that they're in charge of and yeah. that kind of thing. Nobody's in charge of 6,000 people except for like the guys that have been doing it for 20, 30 years. Those are the only people that are talking to as many people as we talk to on a weekly basis on this YouTube channel. So it's kind of put us ahead of the game as far as our communication skills and yeah, we'll carry absolutely. that forward. So thank you for helping us out with that. Another thing is we've gotten more confidence in our authenticity. Um, a lot of times on YouTube, you see YouTubers that are not the same people in real life that mm -hmm. they are on the channel. And that's something that we've worked really, really hard to try and be consistent at. And sometimes it's backfired. If you happen to see our Saw Stop video, um, I took that one down just because there was some misinformation in it. And we never want to promote anything that's just bad and in bad information. So yeah, we just want to be authentic. We want to be honest. We want to give the same impression off camera that we do on camera. Mm -hmm. And if we screw up, we want to be able to say on our channel, hey, look, we screwed up. Um, so that's going to save what? 6,730 something people from making that same mistake. You know, if we're honest about it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to live in a world where everybody on the internet is just showing the good parts of their life and then it's completely polished. We want to show you the bad things too. That's another, again, we'll get to this in a minute, but <laughs> a lot of you commented on that's why you liked our content is because we show you all the mistakes we make. And mm -hmm. so, um, bottom line, we knew that you were going to affect us, the, the small subscriber base we were planning to have in the first year. We had absolutely no idea that we were going to affect you. We kind of knew that like, yeah, you were going to watch our videos and like them, but we didn't actually understand that w like we're motivating people to change the direction of the rest of their lives. And we don't take that responsibility lightly. We just want to be honest, open and grow with you and help each other out. And I hope that if we, you know, do something wrong or we give you bad advice that, you know, you got it in your heart to forgive us and we'll move forward and grow from it. But it's just been an amazing year so far with you guys. and. Um, from the first 10 subscribers to, you know, the last thousand that we've received in the last week. We just want to say a very big thank you. Yes. Thank you for making 2018 so amazing for us. A special thank you now to those of you that, for whatever reason, opened your wallets and trusted <laughs> us to teach you the, what is it, the secrets, the secrets, the to, starting secrets to starting your own furniture business. Okay. I can't believe that many people actually... Uh, trusted us to teach them that. And yes. we had to give a couple refunds, but you know what? That's going to happen with anybody. Mm -hmm. A couple people didn't That's really understand product. what they were buying. Not a huge deal. Uh, but just so you know, we do issue refunds. That's not just some gag. Like we have issued refunds. Mm -hmm. So if that's what's keeping you from buying it, it's because you're afraid you won't actually get your money back. <laughs> we'll give, we'll it, give back. it back. So anyway, yeah, a huge, huge thank you to all of you that trust us for the program. Uh, in your surveys, we're going to keep you completely anonymous, but in the course, there's a couple of surveys and I was, so I work night shift at my job. You guys know I work 80 hours a week and part of that includes staying up all night. Um, 
for most of that 36 hours that I'm, you know, out on the job. And so I came across one night, I came across the course software where it had a little download thing for the surveys and I hadn't looked at them yet. There was maybe a dozen or so when we first launched the programs. And so I downloaded them and I started to read some of the comments and it really kind of just made me emotional. I didn't realize how, like I said, we, we were affecting you and we were kind of helping you with your struggles and like get your business off the ground and like all the things that we thought, like, we knew we were going to help people, but we didn't realize we were actually going to help people. And that's just been one of the most sobering things about this whole YouTube channel and everything is just how much good we've done. Um, I don't know how, but we have. <laughs> we've, uh, you know, a at least if we've just made you had a good day or made you laugh at, at some point in our videos, we just... Worth it. Absolutely <laughs> worth it. So all the hours we've spent on this. Um, yeah, just thank you. I'm going to read some of your comments. Again, I'll keep them anonymous, but it's like these are some of the comments that just hit us the hardest. Okay, so the first question in one of the surveys is, why are you doing this? Why are you trying to start uh, a business? What what are you trying to make all this money for? And a couple of their responses are, are really great. So a lot of you have big goals, which yeah. is awesome. Um, but a lot of you are just looking to set up and get more tools, which is exactly what we thought. That's what, that's what the boat we were in. And so we just thought everybody else, but a lot of people are paying off debt. They're paying off their car. They're actually like using this woodworking money as part of their normal income. Yeah. It's just so incredible to see that people are actually using the information we're sharing to make more money. Yeah. Just, I, again, like I said it in the videos, it didn't really click, but now seeing the surveys, it's crazy. A lot of you like do this for a living. Uh, some, one of you wants to pay off your credit card, help pay for school. Uh, some mm -hmm. of you want to remodel your house. This guy wants to fund a youth baseball and softball team with the money that he makes from woodworking. Like, that's crazy. Like, helping other kids. Yeah. Man, that's insane. And then some of you, I asked what the biggest roadblock was to your success. Why Why were you, uh, you know, what's, what's hardest about making sales? And so one answer really jumped out to us is somebody said that their family is giving them a bunch of negativity saying they can't do it. Um, and they're afraid to try something new, like starting a woodworking mm -hmm. business or even a side hustle. That's... That really touched us and, and we hope that we can encourage you and yeah. I hope that you got value out of the content. Yeah, it's just, it's really sobering to us. All right, and then another question that like had a ton of great answers. So it, it, it said, why why did you buy the program? What can, what finally convinced you to like open your wallet and spend the money, spend the money take the leap. Which, this has been like the biggest thing to us. Like I'm still having trouble processing this right now, but lots of people saying that we're passionate and we have lots of energy. Uh, one YouTube commenter said that I'm on cocaine. <laughs> yeah, and we're like, I'm not. No. For, the, for the record, I'm not, but I appreciate that you Some think of those that. comments, man. Some <laughs> of those comments. But yeah, uh, read another one. You guys have a very engaging and funny presentation on your videos on YouTube. I can tell that you guys know what you're doing, even though you haven't been at it for that long. Uh, it's also clear that you're very passionate about the hobby and it's easy to relate to. You're clearly getting results and I like the way you guys think and process things through. So stuff like that. Um, another one, I saw the video of you pricing the small two by six pine desk and that's helped me to understand how to set fees in my other job, like his main job. Um, also, I like the idea yeah. of a self-supporting hobby. And so do we. <laughs> another guy, I spent the money to see uh, what you know that can help me reach my goals. I invested further in my education. Yeah. I'm looking for that golden nugget of information and experience. So that's really cool. Is That's exactly what we feel like we want to, to encourage you to do is invest in your education because people can take your tools away, your tools can break, they can get stolen, like your projects can get ruined, but your education never disappears. So that's one of the reasons that we charge money for education products is because they never go away. Mm -hmm. Like once you have that mindset, once you have that in your head, it doesn't ever go and away. And it's like a one-time cost too. People think it's so expensive, but you pay once and then you've got that information with you, your ability to sell, your for ability to price, whatever life, for the rest of your life. Yeah, it, like you gotta have a little skin in the game. And I didn't really quite understand that concept until I was reading a book, uh, it's a book called The Alchemist. And mm -hmm. uh, he talks about like, this guy got this free information and he got it for free. <laughs> yeah. And then he just completely ignored it. But then when he got the same information from somebody who charged him money for it, he followed it. 
So that's kind of the reason that we start, we don't put all of our content out on YouTube for free is because you're not gonna take it seriously, you know, pearls before swine. You're not gonna take it seriously unless you've paid for it, unless you're a little bit invested into it. So right. yeah, I, we, we still wanna put out free content that's available to everybody, but that's why we charge money for our programs. So we know that you're gonna make 10 times money, your money back if you follow the things we say in our programs. So, oh, another guy, I wanted to be my own boss and after the military, I just can't get myself to work under anybody and be happy and control my own income. I've also been artistic and love working with my hands. I got this program to try some of the basics of opening this type of business. Yeah, like comments like that are amazing. Thank you for your service. Yes. Um, yeah, that that really resonates with us for a lot of reasons, but. Uh, I like the independence of wanting to hustle and exactly. see like the direct, uh, the direct results of your hard work, right? You literally get out what you put in and yeah, it's a one-to-one -one ratio. It's even, right? G Gary Vee talks about the market being like the ultimate authority on if you're good or not, and we absolutely agree yeah. with that. If you're good, the market will They'll the market will reward you. They'll, yeah. There's They'll no games. It. There's no politics. There's no oh, it's not your turn yet. Like no, if you're good enough, the market the market will definitely respond. Yep. Yeah. Somebody else. I saw a video on YouTube and saw someone was making education tools for exactly what I'm looking for. I started my own woodworking business six months ago and started with the goal of one project a month. Now I'm doing a project every weekend. I eventually want That's this to so be my cool. full-time job and learn as much as I can before I take that rest. That right there, that mm -hmm. is, that is, man. That's some- The uh, fact that we play such a tiny part in that story mm -hmm. makes it all worth it to us. I, so blown away. Yeah. Um, you guys are amazing. You're awesome. You're always showing us stuff on Instagram of, of stuff you've built and things you've learned and, and resources you want to share mm -hmm. with us. And we appreciate every last little bit of that. Right. Um, like again, we were not expecting to affect you. We knew it would change our lives. We didn't know that we would change your lives. So, um, thank it's you. It's been awesome. <laughs> thank you for being you. I hope we can continue to, now that we've got a good direction, uh, for 2019, we're hoping to push full throttle. We are going to move in 2019. So. Um, we're gonna try to keep content pumping out as long as we can. Mm -hmm. We got a CNC machine, which we can operate from anywhere. So we're gonna start to do more CNC sales, but again, it's still gonna be woodworking sales. Right. Um, you're still gonna get the sales tips and the business tips. It's just, you're gonna be watching a CNC. I, we're still gonna do some other projects. Like oh, we're yeah. not moving Definitely. for another like six, eight months or so. That's gonna be really exciting. Uh, we'll have the shop for a while. We'll do a shop, we'll do a final shop yeah. tour coming up at the beginning of the year. But if you've been watching for a while, you know that we have just dropped our second program. It's how to sell your work. If you wanna know exactly how to price your work, I, I, I'm not gonna do a sales pitch. That link is in the description mm -hmm. if you wanna watch our salesy video. It shows you exactly what's in the program. But if you wanna learn how to price your work, how to approach clients and how to sell to clients yes. and close the deal and from a complete stranger to you know your best friend, we show you exactly how to do sale, the sales process with scripts, with examples, with mm -hmm. real numbers, not a whole bunch of theory, actual details and examples. Right, take a look at the link below. Also, the first three people that ask for it in the YouTube comments, okay, that's that's the rules. The first three people, based on time, yes. that post in the in the comments that they want the program, you're gonna get it for free. I'm gonna shoot you, I'm gonna reply to your comment and say DM me on Instagram and we'll we'll figure it out from there. But I want to give three programs away to the first three people because it's just yeah. Which has been awesome. Why not? Yeah. Um, also, uh, a discount is available for everybody. So if you're not one of the first three people, there is going to be a discount code I'm going to have active for uh, a little while. If you want it, just DM me on Instagram and I will get you that discount code. It's going to be valid until the night of January 1st, 2019. So not New Year's Eve, New Year's Day at 11.59, we'll turn it off. But, um, so you have all day to recover, get your, get your head straight. <laughs> From your celebrations, <laughs> think about your new year's resolutions, what you want to do, and you know, buy the coming up and, But yeah. it's going to be a pretty hefty discount. Just ask for it. If you DM yes. us on Instagram, you just find at white grain woodworking. Yep. We're going to give it to you. Um, as many people as want it are going to get it. And again, until the evening of January 1st, 2019. So. 
that's just a thank you from us to you. We just want to, again, express our gratitude to each and every single one of you for joining us on this journey. Let me know in the comments what you guys want to see in 2019. Yeah. What do you want to see? Video ideas, topic ideas, business lessons you've learned. We could really uh, take a tip from you and we would just love to share that information with this little community of ours that's focused on trying to actually build a business. Uh, again, we're going to WorkbenchCon. So if you want to see us there, I think you can still get tickets. Um, Just take a look. Google it. WorkbenchCon. Google it. It's in February. Yeah, it'll be a lot of fun and we'll be there. And yeah. Cool. Anything else? Nope. All right. Again, thank you for a great 2018. Yes, you guys uh, have been awesome. It's, yeah. Thank you. And goodbye. <laughs> Bye. Oh.